exploration, I think, is at the core of what it means to be human. NASA as an agency and the nation as a whole has had an initiative to go back to the moon. To go back to the moon safely requires a reconnaissance mission. The LRO mission, it stands for Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. It's the first sortie back to the moon, a robotic mission, to measure the conditions, environments, and potential landing sites for a manned mission. CRATER stands for the Cosmic Ray Telescope for the effects of radiation. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter is um, basically a, a giant sort of rectangular solid. Crater is mounted on the top here. The way I like to think of it, we're the hood ornament of LRO. Our particular piece of the whole LRO mission is to measure the radiation environment. At the Earth, we have very strong magnetic fields that surround the Earth, plus we have a protective atmosphere. And so a lot of charged particles from cosmic rays will be deflected by those magnetic fields. When you go to the moon, you don't have a magnetic field. You don't have an atmosphere. And so you have that same population of particles, and now all of them are hitting the surface. Now we have to understand what it means to put a person in the picture. To date, we really haven't had a mission where you've had to worry about long-term effects of galactic cosmic rays. The medical community has developed over the years materials that simulate human tissue to see how particles of these energies pass through and interact with matter. We have embedded within the telescope two different regions of material. This red material here, it's uh, called tissue equivalent plastic. In space, we're using it as a literally a simulant for uh, a human that you would not choose to fly in this environment to do the experiment. Different depths here would represent different depths through your tissue to a blood forming organ. The crater instrument is really aimed at understanding the effects of these galactic cosmic rays um, on man in space so that others can take that information and estimate uh, things like long-term uh, cancer probabilities and so forth. We already know that we will be discovering things that we don't even know how to think about right now, and that's very exciting. New window on the universe.